Leifur Ötz Svávarsson. I am a geologist and a lead guide with Icelandic mountain guides. I am holding here a piece of lava that is a one day old. And uh, but I have to have to say that it is not recommended to take any pieces of lava as souvenirs. We should leave all stones where they are and take only photos and memories away from 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 Iceland. But this is a basalt lava, and you can you can um, uh, this is a olive in tholeit if you if you classify it. There is the temperature of the, of the magma that, uh, or the lava that say actually can categorize because if it is warmer than like a 1250 degrees, all of the rock forming minerals within it, they are liquid. And uh, when it's go under 1250 degrees, you start to crystallize some of the, of the, of the crystals, like olivine is the first one to form. And then when it's come colder, the magma is colder, then you have pyroxene and, and uh, plagioglas, but here you have only olivine, so we call this olivine tholite. But uh, what would be more characteristic, characteristic okay, sorry, for, for your absence would be like the behavior of the, of the crater and the, or the volcano. And you could have a, a quite a lot of explosives when you have, if, like the, if the magma is in contact with water, there is a, there is a lot of explosives and you explosions and you have a very small fragments of volcanic gas. If the, if the gas pressure is very high as well, you have a lot of explosives. If you have a little volcanic gas in the lava, you have a, just a constant lava flow with a thin flowing lava. But here we have something in between. You have enough gas pressure to, uh, have a, to, to get some explosions that throw pieces of, of lava like this one, maybe two, three hundred meters into the air, and uh, there's the gas pressure that causes it. The, the, it is magnificent to witness such a, such a eruption, but you have to be careful if you're, if you're planning to visit it. Uh, you have to take care of the wind direction, because if a piece of, of rock or a lava is thrown, it's a maybe a thousand degrees warm when it reaches the ground, and if it's falling from 200 meters height, it can be really dangerous. So the wind direction is, is uh, quite important. You're going to stay on the windward side and you're going to keep some minimal distance so that there is no fragments going to fall close to you. And uh, as well with gases, you have a, uh, the dangerous part is like lack of oxygen. So you prefer to have some wind and you're going to stay on the windward side um, you could have a dangerous gases like a, uh, hydrogen, um, hydrogen acid, uh, that, is, uh, that can be quite toxic, uh, so, you, so you avoid in the calm weather like the lowest valley bottoms and such things, but you prefer to have a, have a slight wind, wind uh, to make it safe. It is wonderful to witness eruptions like this, but you have to do it safely and carefully. Uh, all year round, Icelandic mountain guides have a daily departure on glacier walking on this glacier here, Sólimajökull. And uh, several times per week, we visit this uh, valley here between the glaciers. It's called Thorsmark Valley. And uh, all of those are quite close to the volcanic activity that is now taking place on the Fimurahals mountain. Uh, the distance, for example, from the Solheimajökull glaciers is about uh, 10 kilometers, 6 miles. Um, during the beginning of the eruptions, people were afraid that the eruption was taking place under the ice cap. That would have caused uh, quite a lot of meltwater and uh, huge floods going down the, 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 the valleys on each side of the glacier. Luckily, the, the eruption is quite well located here on the path between these two glaciers and uh, so we are not, there is no flood expected. Uh, we are running several trips to visit these, uh, to, to witness this eruption. We can have a jeep tour on the opposite side of the valley so we can see the, the eruption for relatively close distance or we can have a snowmobile tour that go a loop here and uh, cross the glacier and uh, access it in a, in a close and safe distance. There is an extremely long walk if you are walking all the way 
from the from the Skower waterfall. Um, with with uh, back and forth is about 30 kilometers long and takes about 12 hours. So that's only for very experienced hikers if they are going to hike in into the eruptions and better than with a with a guide or an organized tour. Four days hike from the Landmannalaugar and to the Thorsmörk Valley. It is possible to continue the walk over the Fimvöruhals uh, path. Uh, the current eruption will affect this walk. Uh, new paths have to be made over a several hundred of meters of uh, new lava. And uh, it's, still, it's uh, still too hot. But we have to wait until next summer to see how we are going to solve this, this problem. But definitely this eruption and this new crater and the lava field will make this hike more interesting. Thank you for listening. My name is Leivr Svavarsson uh, from Icelandic Mountain Guides and Iceland Rovers. And I hope, you, hope to have you in a tour.